worst box would be the walnut kind of box with that could confront you on any on any front. What the heck is that? Mushroom? Red shroom. Curiouser and curiouser. Seems kind of rare. It's like, should you eat it and find out? Or should you wait until you can use it for something? Or find out what it actually does? Decisions, decisions. Well, I gotta at least go up here first, right? Because I don't get anywhere unless I do. Push that down. Obviously. Obviously. I like how intricate the game is and simplistic. Like, rooms don't have to be complicated, they just look like it because they added an extra, like, hole or something. Can you feel that, Django? The dark sensation coming from beyond that door? It might be the Count! At last, Django! That two-faced son of a jackal. I wonder what this way... I've been going east a lot. Let's try west. Huh, it's this hallway. Hmm. We can't get through here yet. We need a heavy object. Hmm. Okay, well... I know I'm being coy, but... We'll have to wait until we get that heavy object, won't we? I guess this is supposed to be a solar station on the map. Good place to come when you don't have the sun on your side. A lever? I like how his looks like a lever-operated elevator, but the person who's on it can't make it move. Maybe it's for moving things? Guess so. What the heck? That weight switch is the key. Try putting something on it. Father, son. I sense something. Django, that's a ghoul ghost, commonly known as a Vannibok. They're sensitive to sunlight. You can find them in the dark. They disappear at the hint of sunlight. To light a room, you need a skylight, sunlight, light, and dark. You can control light and dark by exposing the sensor or hiding it from sunlight. You can do it, Solar Boy Django. Any box. And then once you do it once. Like, you're supposed to be sitting under like a tree on a sunny day in this place. Like in an ideal situation if you want to be able to like utilize the solar sensor to its fullest utility. Wait, I have the wrong frame on, don't I? I need spear. Dang it. Treasure chest over here? Huh. Nope. Interesting. Oh, many blocks go down with one shot of a, of a spear? That's good. Huh. Another lever. Does that also control some sort of elevator? stop doing little guessing games. It's like, whoa. Wow, that was, see that, see that? It was very smart of the creators to like, make it seem as though it's like, oh, I have to switch directions. It's like, no you don't. Actually, he switches directions too. It's like, sometimes we'll do that to you. Sometimes you're going to get caught, even if you think you're good enough to no, not be. That trembling, the whole room was shaking. What kind of lever is this? You explained what this lever is already. Like, oh, got 
rid of him. What the? Always lure them with the last sound. So now you can do things like this. Gotcha. Huh. Guess we shouldn't use that yet. Don't need it. Ready, Django? Line up the wooden boxes from here to here. Simple, right? Got four bombs, solar gun grenades. You got a bomb, solar gun grenade. Grenades are a type of weapon, sub weapon for your solar gun. The bomb explodes on impact. One blast is enough to defeat underlings. The bomb grenades can be shot across walls that are one block high. You can get enemies from even behind a wall. But bombs make a loud noise when they explode. Be careful not to attract unwelcome attention. Equip grenades from the gun screen and press the L button to fire. Unlike shots and spreads, there's a limit to how many you can use. I like to keep them I like to keep them unequipped because of the solar sensor gauge thingy that I gotta use. I don't know why I thought about it for so long. But I just didn't want to do the wrong thing. Because you can be presumptuous and you think you know something and then say the wrong thing and then you look like an idiot. So it's never a bad idea to take your time. Besides, this game's a mobile game. We're not supposed to be rushing through it all, even though it would be arguable that we want to not waste too much time with pleasant idolatry. But this month is already very well underway, so... Snatches of conversation can be heard. Snatcher. Moon beauty. With moon beauty without a hitch. How about you? Ah, yes. The earthly maiden going as planned. Good. Guardians. The vampire hunter. I will take care of him. He's just a little boy. Well, it's up to you, Count. That impudent little boy! Acting without the Queen's order, that moon child. As I suspected, the Count's inside. But who? No, there's no sense in worrying about it. Django, it's time to confront the Count. Are you ready? Hey, man, you gotta... Pouring a lot on the pouring a lot on your boy there. But yeah, Tayo, you know, we up here, we out here on the streets, you know, we we, we out here we doing that, we doing our thing. Not with no beat mania though, I can tell you that much. It's a night tang. I'm in here. You So nice to see you, little hunter. As for the woman, she's not dead. She's the sacrifice we need to complete our plan. I can't keep a lady waiting. It's time. Won't be much of a battle, a young shrimp like you. Anyway, can't pass up on a chance to feast on fresh hunter blood. And the band begins to play. Ready for the musical of blood? I love I love the pompous. I love the pompetry. I like how he's in my face trying to tell me that he's 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 hot ish. This man iced my old man, apparently. Get that weak ish out of my sight, bro. Not here for your weak ish, my guy. Out of here, nah, nah. See these these bats right here. You need to cut with that, my guy. 
need to cut with all of that. Yeah, is there a problem? Sounds like there's an issue, my guy. Oh, this man is definitely with the ground soaked blood on this one. The heck? This man is churning up blood earth. That's right. Eat that damage. Eat it. That's right. See those swords? See your swords? See how they see how I be sending them back to you, my guy? Don't think for a single second that I am above doing what you did to my old man. I am very much in the mood to do that to you. Ah, okay. Okay, so you got distance. Okay, that's good. I'm glad you got reach because I know you reaching be trying to be playing me like I'm some punk. You said shrimp, right? This ain't no battle right here? Your HP's looking low, my guy. Nah, nah, see, nah, see, we ain't doing any of that. Nah, 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 I thought you were bad. I thought you were bad. Please, please come here. Whoa, whoa. I'm not gonna let you catch me on slipping like this. Nah, see... I'm trying to be slick. We ain't allowing that. Nah. See, you're dumb. See that? See that play? You got played. That was a play. See, like now there, your shield's here, right here, my guy. See that? See all this damage? Giant freaky rat flying think. Yeah, get in your coffin real quick for me, bud. It looks like she's all right. Mm hmm. This is Moon Beauty. You saved my life. Thank you. I am Otenko, Messenger of the Sun. This is Solar Boy Django, the Vampire Hunter. Who are you? I am the caretaker of the Solar Tree, Mother Gaia's Earthly Maiden, Lita. That day the Immortals attacked San Miguel when I awoke. The Solar Tree and I had been captured by the City of Death. The Solar Tree infected by Istrakan? The Immortals can't be that strong. Somebody must be behind this. I almost forgot. At the solar plant under the solar tree, the Earth's energy is activated, and special solar fruits can be grown. I'm sure they will be of some help to you. Please come and see. Head north from here. Follow the road. It's not far. I will return and prepare the garden for planting. Well, she's sweet. you think she'll be fine by herself? Who wants to try me next, Phil? She'll be fine. Er, well, anyway, let's move the Count's coffin out of here. He is an immortal, and being outside the living realm, the immortals have never lived, and they can never die. In time, the Count will recover. Before that happens, use the pile driver to reduce him to nothing. Let's go, Django. Have we been to the passage on the west side of the first floor yet? Yeah, we have, bro. You know we do. You know how we do out here. We do all into scouting. You know what I'm saying? Now we just you want to scout and you just trying to search out through the uh, outside and go you know, through the west side. You know what I'm saying? West side, my guy. West coast connections up in here. Hallow trick or treat, my son. So yeah, here's the game. Uh, this is a big tutorial dungeon, and this is what you do. Drag coffins in uh, dungeons before sunset, and uh, use the sun to put a holy solar stake right through these menacing beasts' hearts. Like, forget these guys, am I right? This man right here iced your father. You 
can't live you can't live that down my guy this man made you an orphan you know what the only the only recompense is to do the same Yeah, you before that Clefrota dude finds me. These vanny box. The one under these vannies all over my block. Shinbokoru. The other thing about this game is that, oh wow, this guy's going the long way around. Okay, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. Sure, Hideo. Sure, guys. Sure, devs. Whatever. He should do that because that makes more sense. This guy's probably like, what is up with all the noise? Who is, who are you people? Whoop, 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 nope, don't want that. Uh, nope, don't want. Jeez Louise, jeez Louise. 